showing that we need to showing that that uh, sample mean square is the sample mean square is equal to the population mean square correct so in this one we have to solve the e as a square into capital as a square and this is the case of in as r as w o r so this is the case of in as r as war e as a square is equal to square in this case as small as a square is equal to 1 upon n minus 1 and uh, summation of x i minus x bar whole square and then 1 upon n minus 1 and then summation when we uh, open this bracket so we get this values because of the this is the x i x square minus 2 x i x bar plus x bar whole square correct a minus b to the whole square and then bracket close and 1 upon n minus 1 and then after the multiplying it and under the so we get the values are here so by solving this just uh, we get this values sigma xi square 1 upon n summation of x bar summation of xi whole square so this is achieved by this now summation of x i 1 upon nx summation of x bar is 1 upon n minus 1 and then summation of x i square minus 1 upon n and here summation of x i ka whole square that means x i x whole is then means that okay so x i ka x i whole square is that summation of x i square plus summation of x i x a so this is the expansion of this so we will put here so x i square minus 1 upon n summation of x i and x j correct so this will come here 1 upon n minus 1 then summation of okay in this one we can take common it values so 1 minus 1 upon n summation of x i square minus 1 upon n summation x i x j now by simply solving this 1 upon n minus 1 so this is by uh, after lcm we get n minus 1 upon n summation of x i square minus 1 upon n n minus 1 and summation of x i and x j 1 upon n 1 upon n x i square minus 1 upon n n minus 1 and x i and x j so after calculation then we get this and now i'm solving here so 1 upon n summation of x i square and this one is completed now the next step will be the what is because of we are not just this is the value of only x square now just we are taking expectation so we will put here expectation of so expectation of summation of x i square so we need a this expectation of x i square correct so expectation of x i square will be expectation of ai and uh, 
xi square and at the place of ai again e ai is equal to we know that one and zero included not included i thin it is included not included so at the place of we take n upon n and <coughs> so we will put here n upon n but expectation of n upon n e expectation of x square it means that so we will put here x i square so the value of sigma x i square is here n upon n summation of x i square the next value is here expectation of x i x j is equal to e a i a j x i x j and uh, summation of a i a j is equal to x i and x j correct now expectation of a i and a j is n minus n n minus 1 and n n minus 1 and this is the x i and x j correct now we will put these values are here by just uh, so first uh, we will put here e x i square value which is a uh, here n upon n x i square and uh, again we will this value put it here so after putting this values we will we will get some values e s square equal to 1 upon n summation of x square minus 1 upon n n minus 1 summation of x i x j and 1 upon okay so these are the values which by which we get by putting this values are here now again we can see that this value 1 upon n and uh, 1 upon n n minus 1 we can see here which is is showing here x square so directly we can put it here as a square correct because this term is here and this is achieved by by small s square a small s square result is a small x square so if capital x square is here so the result will be the capital s square s square correct so this is the result of this theorem thank you so much and the part 3 will come